Good morning. It's two days before Christmas. I'm sure that you will watch that video in next year. Then uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We are at the Golan Heights, very close to the Sea of Galilee. And what you see in front of you is the city of Ipos, one of the ten um, Decapolis, which mentioned in the Jewish uh, um, Mishnah and Talmud, but mentioned at the um, New Testament as well. Then, if Jesus was here, question mark, I believe that he was, but I'm not, sh I cannot actually swear that he, but we will talk about it later on. Uh, that's the entrance to the um, to the city, what you see here is kind of an excavation area. Um, actually, it was a quarry. Um, the city started as um, as a village, as a city, as a Roman, uh, uh, sorry, a Greek uh, army camp here at the second century BC. For that, they had to have some water. Now, where the people are standing there, we found the uh, um, aqueduct from uh, the 2nd century BC and um, when the Romans settled down here it tend to be to a huge city, a big city, bigger than the Greek one and because of it they had to have more water. Now let me show you what they did. Now, we are talking about two aqueducts but you know they had to build a Roman aqueduct they had to um, excavate and uh, uh, they had to flat that area, and then in that case, it's kind of a quarry. And then they found some, uh, they had a lot of stones. What a city will do with those stones? Very easy. What they did is they built um, burial podiums. It was like four meters high, and on top of it, you can see that the sarcophagus of a rich family. Um, here you can see the result of that uh, quarry, a part of the um, aqueduct to the city um, you can see how they actually use it and and what you see here in the basalt it's kind of a pipeline that they bury here and cover it with a cement if we will climb up we will actually move from the first century that we just saw to oops uh, the aqueduct of the Greek Altogether, we find here 13 burial podiums, and let's continue. I have to jump now, a little bit dangerous, it's quite wet here. See you, bye-bye. Then we saw how the rich people have been buried, but there are richer people here as well. That they build themselves kind of a mansion, a burial mansion, just like that. We call it the Lion Mansion, mainly because uh, we found the statue of, of a lion here. Uh, what we believe it was 50 meters high. Uh, the, that is the ground floor, actually the basement, and there's another two floors, and a, maybe a pyramid top on top of us. Uh, it been collapsed at the 4th century and here you can see some of the top of the sarcophagus that have been here. Uh, the sarcophagus are from limestone but um, uh, the rest is basil, basil stone. Look how beautiful it is. Uh, you can see one of the doors of the first uh, floor and that's the entrance to the basement. You can see the lock is here as well. We're talking about 3,500 uh, people. There are, there are three burial sites here. Uh, this is the main one of the, maybe the rich people. Uh, there's another mausoleum right here. It's called the flower one. Uh, been destroyed just like the other one. It's uh, been destroyed at the fourth century by the earthquakes that been here that shake that area. But you can see here more than 50 stones from the flower, um, the flower mausoleum, the smaller one. 
on the way to the entrance of Ipos, Susita in Hebrew, a horse in uh, English, you can see so many sarcophagus. Let's climb up. Wow, this is the first time that now we can see the Sea of Galilee. At the other side, <laughs> you can see the city of Tiberias. Um, a little bit difficult because it's, yeah, now you can see a little bit of it. But what we actually find here that this is the end of the necropolis, no more tombs, I mean, until here. And then that was a tower, and here it was a ditch, kind of the moat, but on, usually moat is um, surrounding the city. Here the moat didn't. It's only that part, and we believe that an arch was around it. The idea was to delay the war missions, not the soldiers, the war missions from attacking the city. That was the uh, gate that we saw. It's not the entrance of the city. The city is there, but at the other side of the arch, uh, you can see here the um, Roman bath. They didn't excavate it yet, but it's supposed to be beautiful, and I can understand that what you're looking at is on the city that they are excavating here. It's not open to the public yet. And next to it, the small hill that you see here, where it is, wait, ah, here it is, yeah, that one. And you can see the wall is the theater, and the hill that you see is because of the destruction of the theater on the earthquake. Amazing, isn't it? Does Jesus visit that city? We don't know. I think yes. At least he talked about that city. And uh, we, will, we will take you later on to Matthew, chapter 4 and 5. You see that it's still not open to the public. Look at the two fences that we are walking through and look at the sign here. Right, you got it. And the other side as well. Let's climb up to the city. Way up, you can see something that looks like a bunker facing to Syria. That it might be an Israeli one. Just came from there, and uh, at last we reached the entrance of the city. You can see now the eastern um, eastern uh, uh, gate of the city. Now we are talking about this city that quite narrow. It's actually uh, we are in the east, heading to the west. It's 500 meters, which is um, 1500 feet. But to the right and to the left, it can reach 60. Uh, 60 feet, to, no, a little bit more than that, but you got the message, it's not. Here you can see the round tower, 8 meters high, you can see only the, of course, the um, facade of it and the ground part of it. And the gate was right here, 4 meters wide, another tower right here, and you can see the pipeline, the Roman pipeline. You, you can see part of the wall that goes all the way up and actually make a round tour around the city. Look at the cliff. This is the new, this is the new uh, floor, but Let's enter to the first century floor 
of the Decomanos, the main road from east to west. Now, this is the Maximus, um, the, the Commandos Maximus, the main one. Um, it's uh, it reminds us New York, Chicago, you know, very easy to manage, but here you can see a hole. Uh, that's where the aqueduct, um, in a way, the main aqueduct ended, and two main, uh, two different aqueducts went from it. One to the center of the city, and another one to the neighborhood right there. Then let's walk a little bit together. It's um, the day began with a huge lot of rain. Uh, and thanks God, not even one drop of rain. And now the, let's hope that it will be like that at least until 4 p.m., 1600 hours. Can imagine now. Uh, houses to the right, houses to the left. Stairs up, although it looks like a modern one, but look how beautiful it is together with the tree. I will, when you will be able to reach Israel again. Uh, maybe then uh, that place will be open to the public legally. As you can see, we are leaving the, the Comanos, the main road from east to west, straight to the WC. See you later on. What are you actually looking at? Is the cathedral, the main cathedral of uh, the city. I hope that the wind doesn't disturb you. You can see the one nave and only one house facing to the east of the And uh, you see the nave and the two. Part of the altar and uh, stones there represents what the fence actually was. And here, right here, in about two days from now, they will discover, actually, or already discover, a new church, a new chapel with some metals. Um, Institute, um, I don't know, um, metal stools might be very holy than um, a few minutes. I will know better than that. Here there's another apse, actually three ups, but that's the font. That's where they used to baptize people. And um, we have seven churches in, um, in, in the city, but there's only one font run Baptist place right here. And... It's from the 6th century, but the 7th century, the earth actually shake, and that is the result of it. You see the columns right here in front of you. Beautiful, isn't it? It's quite a huge chapel for a small city, 3,500 people. And we're talking about um, seven churches, at least seven churches. They excavated five, and there's another two that they will excavate. Uh, I'm going to the apple from the... Uh, from the that balcony and on the way at the Kamanos, you can see a column with an Arabic inscription. Maybe from 8th century. This is the, uh, the apse of the um, uh, font. The man that stands there trying to look for the kind of a, um, copper um, Pipeline. They took the, uh, the water from there. With the, um, is that the shaman? Yeah, there's a copper pipeline that takes the water to the font. Uh, here, the floor was made of, of uh, mosaic and there of uh, bricks. And it's raining again. Oh, please pray for me that it will rain for two minutes. Although I must say, we need the water for the 
uh, Sea of Galilee. You can hear now the raindrops. And as someone actually asked me, he said, I'm sure that he sang, I'm singing in the rain. Indeed, indeed, I'm singing in the rain. Da 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 For, thank you for your prayer because uh, the rain was here for like one minute which is good now this is the northern part of the Sea of Galilee and we are looking now to the southern part of it and if we'll go back to the northern part on the way you will see uh, Tiberias right there uh, which was in the valley now we can see the city on top of the hill as well. There is where we believe Jesus, according to the book of Matthew, which I um, talked to the people. So many miracles happened actually there. Um, the fish and the loaves, uh, Capernaum, it's there, Capernaum. Um, and so many other things. Um, Magdala, city of Mary Magdalene is there. Sorry, you cannot see it from here, but it's uh, actually, no, you can see it. You can see the cliff and it's right there. And he went on top of the mount and he talked to the people. This is the blessed one. And, uh, and that's at chapter five. But at the end of chapter four, he actually met the first disciples and then he, uh, the people of Syria and the Decapolis actually heard about him and they went to be cured and to hear the master, to hear Jesus. Now, after he blessed everyone, the Beatitude, he actually talked about the light of the people when he said, you will see the light of the city that on top of the hill. Just like it, people will look at you when you, they will recognize the light. Guys, this is the only city in that area which was built on top of the hill. Is there a reason why we have seven churches here and a cathedral of the bishop? Mm hmm. Can we say that maybe Jesus actually was here, or maybe he knew about the city when he talked about the city on top of the hill? I believe that it is. Um, the Decapolis, Deca, ten police cities, were mentioned three times in the Bible. Matthew is, is, is um, the one that we talked. The miracle with the uh, pigs and uh, uh, where, where, where it is. Yeah, Gadara. The miracle with the pigs. Remember the man, the league, which was hunted by demons, and Legion was his name. Then the miracle of is it was right there next to the Sea of Galilee. Beautiful, isn't it? Look how calm is the Sea of Galilee. At least it looks calm. And I'm so happy that it's not raining now. Beautiful. The forum, the center of the city, let's say Times Square of the Roman time, first century. Beneath it, if you will excavate, you will find um, 
the Agora, which is the same thing, but of the Greek people who controlled the city before. Um, that building used to be two stories building. I don't know if you can see the uh, kind of the apse facing to the Sea of Galilee. That is the uh, Roman temple that worshipped the Caesar. Uh, of, uh, of uh, the Roman Emperor at that time. You can find it in every in every city. We don't know who um, was the Caesar at that time because the statue wasn't found. Something like two meter statue. It was open to the public and not like the Roman uh, temples that they used to. Uh, you couldn't go into it. Right here, you see the podium. I'm sure that there was a statue on top of it uh, to uh, memorize the one who donated a lot of money and the one that was important in that city. Everything that you can see, can you see the column here, there? Then behind it, there was kind of a corridor all around uh, the forum. And we found here a, a, a nice um, marble uh, column. Uh, most of the columns that you see here is from granite. Uh, and here it, you can find uh, a column with a Greek inscription of 13, 13 lines. Oh, here it is. We found it smashed into pieces because of the earthquake of the 7th century. The marble came from mainly Turkey and Greek, Greece. In the form, you can see, you can actually find beneath the form a water system which was huge. As we started there, you can see the uh, stairs to the lower part. At that time, we couldn't see it, it was covered with floor, and just like that. And can you see the two other iron metal stir? Then it actually reach that place. From the water system, you can reach the, the, the basilic, the Roman one, as I believe, but we are actually going there, but not before you will see the entrance to the water system Here it is remember it's not still it's not open to the public yet uh, I don't know if you will be able to go in but I I will be happy to do that for you one day It's raining again. We are at the Basilic, which is a Roman structure, a non-religion structure. It's not a church, although you can actually say that it looks like a church, and you are in a way right. Um, everything was covered with plaster, and I'm sure that uh, it was covered with colors as well. And, um, and soon I will show you some... Uh, I don't know, I can show it to you. You can see this plaster here and there, and you can find the plasters on the wall as well. Uh, in every Roman city you can find a basilic. It, you must have uh, a basilic in a Roman city, uh, just like you must have a Roman bath and a forum and a theater. Now between every column here, you could see a podium for statues. Here you can see it better. The roof was 70 meters high, I mean the top of the roof. The basilic um, was for so many uh, reasons. First of all, the market was here and it was covered, and that's the idea, a cover uh, structure. Uh, the judge were there, 
um, money changers. Uh, then it's kind of a business area, and, and, and if you need to to have some meetings, you could do that there as well. The guilds were here. Then a um, very important institute in Susita, uh, uh, it was in every Roman city. The basilic that we left had been destroyed by the earthquakes at the 4th century, 383 as I believe, and from that moment no one used it. And the first one who actually discovered it or renovated it were we, uh, from let's say 1967 and up. Temenos, it's another holy structure, Hellenistic holy structure was here. At the time of the Romans, it was used for uh, industry, and behind it, there's another beautiful church. We call it the Polish church because the Polish were actually uh, were excavated it. It's a beautiful uh, church. Uh, um, looks like a basilical dome. Uh, Michael, uh, the excavator, doesn't like uh, to use that word in uh, uh, for uh, churches. We are not planning to go to that church, but I will take you there and I hope that I won't uh, miss the group. Then uh, it will be a it's a beautiful structure with a beautiful mosaic. We are heading now north. And the church will be to our right soon. I must say that the entrance to the church atrium is from here. And look at the church. And I'm just looking at him. Yeah, it's going down. Beautiful church. And I want you to see a little bit of the mosaic. Beautiful, isn't it? Over here you can see that there's three apps. And this is the main one. You can see the fence. That's where um, the simple people like me couldn't enter, only the priest area and we will live the place from the other corridor and more mosaic now I have to rush because Michael Dr. Michael excavator had as I believe he's going to the uh, to show us a beautiful place uh, then see you in there Here in the Orion, we have 380 people. Um, it's a little bit windy. It's like a small theater, um, mainly for poetry, and that's the meaning of the word Orion. See, when the blue guy actually left, it's one of the stairs, and we have another one here, and another one there. And now we actually go out of here from there. Uh, 11 rows. And you can see the oh, almost fell, but I didn't. You can see the original marble. And the stage, I'm sure that it was covered with wood. Climbing up, you can see the other one from there. I will show it to you from the other side, and then I will have to run away to rush after the master. I mean, here it is. Look at the Sea of Galilee behind it. Poetry or not, let me run. We are at the 
last year, which is an army camp inside the city, watching the most strategic place. The enemy, and if we're talking about the first century, the enemy war were the Jews, um, tried to control that area. So that's around 66 before the Romans came and destroyed uh, uh, the Jewish temple. Then the only way to reach Hippos is from there, from the valley. I don't know if you can see the, the, uh, the bus, that's the, uh, the main entrance to the city. Then in that case, to avoid the artillery of the Jews, although they did have, uh, they built here kind of a um, uh, army camp for their artillery to avoid from the big one, or, uh, the enemy's one, to enter or to reach uh, Hippos. And in fact, they didn't, um, the Jews didn't uh, uh, conquer that place. You can see that there's one room here, there was a tower there. Another four, another three rooms, and another tower. In the second century, when the uh, Romans didn't have any enemies, here they turned that place into a public area to um, um, Roman bath. That was part of the wall that surrounded um, the city. Amazing, amazing. No, not a so let's yeah, go backward, backward. And she did it. Then. That was the Roman bus of second century. Remember that that place used as a Roman bus. You can see here the hot room. The hippocars and the oven, the hot air entered to the floor, then the floor was above us, that's the floor, and we are lower than that. And you can see the main room, and just you now before you're entering into the Roman bath, talking, gossiping, and the cold pool. And right there you can see and the oven room. It is. And the hot air entered through there. And that's where the poor man used to burn wood. That's why it's very dark here, very black. And when he been destroyed here, they used that area, and I'm talking about third century, they used that area as a garbage area. From there. We saw the basilic from that balcony, and now on the way back to the bus, you can see, you can see the basilic, the uh, cathedral. See the only apps here, and the fence area is right there. And the people could be here, and there is ah. even a narthex. Right there, you can see there are two entrances and a narthex, and it's facing to the east. What can I tell you? It's a wintry day, but a beautiful day as well. Back to the bus. If you like that video, please subscribe my channel. Um, for right now, I'm missing 1K of subscribers to reach uh, 100K subscribers. And this is a competition between me 
and my daughter that doesn't believe that I'm a, I'm a YouTuber because I'm too old for that. She's gonna have a birthday on 14th of January and I want to reach 100,000 subscribers just before that to show you, to show my daughter that I am a YouTuber. Then can you do that for me? Send it to everyone. Send the link to my my uh, YouTube channel to everyone. I'm, I have more than 19,000 videos. Then see you in my next video. Bye bye.